What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Killy Killit, C-O-B, Indiana Chapter, Soot, Soot, G-C-E, Geechee Commission Entertainment. Today, we're going to be going over how to import your instrumental to the track and to go over how to find the tempo. This video will be a quick video, so ain't going to take too much time. What we're going to do is get in here and we're going to go ahead and say file import audio and we're going to go find our audio so let's go ahead and get right into this i'm gonna go ahead and go into a spot find a beat uh that i can just throw in here real fast and then we're going to go ahead and begin so go ahead and go into one of my files here we're going to do this there we go i think we got one ready to rock So then it's going to import that in real fast there. And we're going to then find the tempo. So hopefully uh, you know your program well enough to find some of these things in it that you need to know where they're at. Um, but in mind, they're going to be in project. But wherever you have in your program that says tempo change, you're going to do a tempo change and find that tempo. So we're going to start the beat up here in just a second. And as we start to beat up, we're going to find the tempo. So usually you'll want to start to beat uh, where there's an actual drum pattern coming in, not where there's no drum pattern. So once I find that coming in, I'm going to go ahead and go to my project, insert tempo change. So now I'm going to click the tempo, so which means click to the beat. Bass snare, bass snare, kick snare, kick snare. However you want to look at it, get that tempo in there. So this one looks like it's pretty neat, nicely at 70. So we're going to click OK. You're going to see the whole beat shrink down. Boom, bam. So now it's saying, hey, this is the tempo of the beat. Now you may even be able to do 140 if you tipped, tap, tapped a little faster, you know, because that's just double time. Um, but then you want to go and zoom in here where the beat comes right in and see if it's right on that bass kick. So it's a little bit off there as you can tell. So what I'm going to do now is go back to the beginning. And I'm going to take away some of the excess of nothingness. So there's, there's nothing right there. It's just nothing. So I'm going to shrink that down, bring it back. And then I'm going to bring that over to the beginning. I'm going to go back here and check it out again and see how close it is this time. So, not too bad. Pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Something we can work with. But I'm going to go back here and zoom in a little bit more and check it out and see where I want to bring it back. Just a tad bit. So you can see it's kind of starting there. So bring it back there. And then we're going to bring it back to the beginning again and we're going to go check out where it's at again so pretty much a lot of this but once you get this on there then you can copy and paste a lot easier with your tracks and vocals if you need to copy and paste something so that one right there is pretty much right then so what you do next to really make sure is you're going to go to the end of the beat and see if it's still on p on on on, on beat so if it is, then you know that it's on the right marker. So you're going to find where a bass kick punches right in on there. And you're going to zoom in on it and see where you're at. So if you zoom in on this one, hey, we're pretty much still on that. It's the same exact spot. And that will make it a lot easier for you to do what you need to do. So I hope this helps you out to be able to find the tempo change and to be able to set the tempo and find out where you need to put the beat at and after that you'll be ready to record your vocals on there and we'll be going over vocal recording here soon so y'all check this out and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that like button <laughs> share it on Facebook share it with your producers and your other people engineers whoever you need to know if you're getting ready to start out and you're just starting in the game so hey thank you again for always representing this is Killy Kill It, C-O-B, Circle of Bosses, Indiana Chapter, G-C-E, Geechee Commission Entertainment. Y'all have a great night or day. Peace.